Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about the cost inflation index. The prices of goods increases over time thereby resulting in a decrease in the purchasing power of money. In simple words, the number of goods one unit of money can buy reduces over time due to inflation. For example, if two units of goods can be bought for rupees 100 today, only one unit might be available for the same rupees 100 tomorrow due to inflation. Hence, a cost inflation index is used to estimate the increase in the prices of goods and services year on year due to inflation. So why is the cost inflation index calculated? The cost inflation index is calculated to match prices with the inflation rate. So who notifies the cost inflation index? The central government specifies the cost inflation index for a particular year by notifying the same in the official gazette of India. The cost inflation index equals 75% of the average rise in the urban consumer price index for the immediately preceding year. The consumer price index is calculated by comparing the current price of a basket of goods and services with the cost of the same basket of goods and services in the previous year to calculate the increase in prices. So what is the current cost inflation index? Here is a list of the cost inflation indexes for the last 20 years. You can see that the cost inflation index for the financial year 2021 is 301. So how is the cost inflation index used in income tax? Long term capital assets exist in books at their cost price. Despite increasing inflation rates, these assets cannot be revalued and they continue to exist at their cost price. When these assets are sold, the profits are high due to the difference between the high sale price and the much lower purchase price. This also leads to a higher income tax to be paid. Hence, a cost inflation index is applied to these long-term capital assets which helps reduce the purchase price of these assets, thereby reducing the overall profits and the income tax to be paid. The use of the cost inflation index to calculate the purchase price is to benefit taxpayers and reduce their income tax liability. So how is the indexation benefit applied to long-term capital assets? When the indexation benefit is applied to the cost of acquisition, it becomes the indexed cost of acquisition. The indexed cost of acquisition is calculated by multiplying the cost of acquisition with the cost inflation index for the year of sale or transfer and dividing the same by the cost inflation index for the year 2001-2 or the first year in which the asset was held by the SSE whichever is later. Please note that the cost inflation index can be applied to any improvements made on the property as well. However, any improvement made after 1st April 2001 needs to be ignored. The second point to note is, in case of a property being received through a will, the year to be considered is the actual year in which the property was received and the year in which the property was purchased should be ignored. So I hope you understood what a cost inflation index means and how to calculate it on your house property. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.